Welcome to my studio. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some new work and um, give you a little bit of tour of the studio and um, talk a little bit about my process. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to be checking out the comments and I'll get back to you. Uh, behind me I have some new work. This piece is called Subterranean Homesick Blues and that's taken from a Bob Dylan song and that's you know the example of uh, a lot of times while you're working on a piece you don't really know where what it's going to be until it's finished and in fact this is a good example of some of my new work where I'm really exploring making work where some of it is done with painsta painstaking intention and other components are uh, mashed up with these kind of destructive forces or forces beyond my control so this piece, um, and maybe in the video I'll experiment with a little editing and show you this piece kind of along the way where it started. Started out in a very different configuration. It was kind of based on an abstracted drawing and uh, I took that drawing and projected it using an overhead projector and um, recreated my lines on some plain white muslin and then um, started kind of fleshing out the piece with you know the way I work with fabric all kinds of synthetic hair and satin cording and velvety fabrics and sequins and that's another thing I'm really excited about lately is uh, juxtaposition of really different textures and um, sheens and some furry materials and some shiny materials and just everything in between. And uh, this piece, after I, I completed it, I really didn't like it, which was, you know, you get that kind of um, 
sinking feeling because it, you know, it took me a long time to sew this piece. And there were components that, you know, when it was finished, it just didn't turn out the way I thought it was gonna look. And of course, the way I work on my machine, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute, um, a good portion of the process of working on the piece, I'm, I can't see the overall piece because it's this kind of top-down process, the way I use my long arm quilting machine. So it's, you know, that moment when you take it off the machine and you see the whole piece after you've sewn it, usually it's, you know, this great feeling of seeing all of your hard work and what it looks like as a complete, completed object. And that time with this piece, I, I, it wasn't quite right. So um, one thing I've just kind of been getting into is just getting into something, you know, getting into it with scissors. I've been burning things. I've been throwing things in the washer, um, experimenting with wool. This is um, wool yarn that um, I just kind of, you know, let the washing machine do part of the work for me and just kind of let this these chaotic forces be a big part of, of the finished piece. So I took took this, this piece and cut out a lot of the middle part of it and um, one thing that happens a lot of time with my work is um, it, things turn into landscapes or they turn into characters where there's a dialogue and it might be an inanimate object or it might be an animal or it could be a person, but there's whatever it is, there's a dialogue between these, these kind of characters. They, they kind of become imbued with these personalities, but they're either um, characters or landscapes very often. So this really, in my mind, became a landscape. And um, there's definitely a kind of a, above and below component. And, um, uh, you know, just a little bit of, of the land and, and water. And, you know, I see that as a sunset up there. Um, or, or even like a, an ant hill, like a mounded ant nest. I'm not sure what it is. It could be, it could go either way. Um, but yeah, so I've been experimenting with, um, taking materials, uh, putting them together in a very intentional way at times, and then doing things to the materials that they tear them apart or partially destroy them. So I have some things on my work table here and I'm going to kind of, um, move the camera. So, you know, I've really gotten into working with wool. And the flip side of that is, of course, a lot of times if you go to the fabric store and you buy wool, it's not real wool. It's a synthetic material made out of a petroleum product. So this is part of a piece that um, is made of synthetic felt. And I just started burning it. And um, maybe in the editing process, I'll show some of like this piece, the way it looks on the wall. And another component of this piece is this very intentional line drawing that I did that um, was a very big piece. It was probably nine by 10 feet. And I um, sewed wool into the, the lines that I had drawn on this muslin. And again, this piece, there was something about it. I'd, I'd spent a lot of time uh, sewing all of these this wool yarn onto this piece and then when it was finished it wasn't really doing anything for me so I cut all of the negative space out around this line drawing and threw it in the washer and let the washing machine kind of take over and also incorporated um, this kind of magenta colored yarn um, but I'll show you a finished piece what that looks like on the wall um, okay since I'm in show and tell mode I'm gonna go over to my long arm sewing machine. If you haven't been to my studio before, this is a machine that I got after Hurricane Katrina when all of my equipment in my studio flooded. And so I bought this in 2006 and it's called a long arm quilting machine. It's made by Nolting. I have the hobby quilter. And uh, this, it, they make very, very much more sophisticated machines these days, but I don't really need a sophisticated quilting machine because I don't really use it the way quilters use their machines. I use it kind of in a, a non-traditional manner. So let me see if I can figure out how to set the camera up so you can see what I'm doing here. Let me move this over here. Um, 
Maybe a little closer. Okay, I just broke something. Oh well. Um, all right. So what I do is I take all kinds of materials. Let me get this up a little higher. Uh, I don't have anything on the machine right now, so this is just a leftover piece of something I was working on before. But I'll just kind of show you how the machine works. So usually I'll have a drawing, I'll have an underpainting. The underpainting, I use washi acrylic paints and just get a color in so that I can work against that color with all the fabric and thread and everything that I add to the surface. So sometimes I might just cut out shapes like this. And uh, just applique different uh, shapes of bits of colored fabrics and a lot of times a method that has evolved for me over the years is using um, satin cording or thread or yarn and uh, kind of finishing the image with that and it kind of becomes like a drawing technique or a shading technique And um, the, uh, the thread that I use on top has a lot to do with, um, with making color choices because that further kind of um, enhances the color, changes it, changes it, makes it warmer or cooler or whatever I'm going for. Um, so I'll come back over to the piece on the wall. And you can see some of the detail of this piece. And there's just a lot of different textures in here sequins um, mashed up next to satin cording and um, there's hair, synthetic hair. Uh, this has a lot of pinks and um, peachy colors. And what else is in here? Embroidery thread. And then over here, I'm really addicted to this kind of acid yellow. I'm using that a lot um, in the new sculptures that I'm making, and I'll show you some more of that later. And um, here's some 100% wool. And this was sculpted by my washing machine. Um, I'll just show you a little bit of my fabric wall. It's kind of uh, outgrown my shelving unit. So yeah, it's always, uh, my fabric collection is always growing. Um, but anyway, I guess that's going to be it for today. Um, and let me just see if I can hop back into the camera a little bit. Say bye. But yeah, thanks for joining me today. I have a show coming up at Jonathan Ferrara Gallery in October and uh, follow Jonathan for our gallery and all of their social media platforms and uh, they'll keep you informed about the shows that are coming up. So it's good to see everybody and I have two more videos for the JFG TV artist takeover and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!